hey everyone and welcome to welcome back to my channel so for today's video i have a mini hygiene empties video i thought i finished way more than what i actually did so this is actually going to be a mini hygiene empties video but you guys preferred it over the soap and glory shower routine so though i don't have too many products we're just going to go ahead and haul this little bit that i have so let's go ahead and get into it okay so i'm just gonna reach in so the first thing that i finished is this dove beauty bar this is the um, if i'm not mistaken it's like pomegranate it doesn't actually say what it is but i think it's the pomegranate one this stuff smells so good i 10 out of 10 recommend this one i'll be completely honest this is the only dove beauty bar i can remember ever using and it's like the pomegranate one but i am obsessed with this scent this actually lingers on the skin you can literally get away with just using this beauty bar in the shower and still smell really good and have it linger on your skin so i 10 out of 10 recommend this one i believe i got mine from i want to say like burlington and i got like a pack i think of six for like three dollars maybe and that's a really great deal especially because of high quality the product is itself now this is a beauty bar so i don't really believe it's going to actually cleanse your body but say this is all that you have you can definitely get away with it because you'll still smell really good i feel like it gets away all the like funk and things like that because you are cleansing your body but this is just like a beauty bar and it doesn't really i feel like specialize in like really cleaning your body of all its like natural oils and any funk and things like that i don't know if that really makes any sense i feel like it'll cleanse you but it's not gonna clean you like a body wash would because this is a beauty bar now if it doesn't say beauty bar and it's just like a bar soap then I feel like that's another story, but maybe that's just me. Um, I kind of got that theory from TikTok. People were saying that the Dove Beauty Bars aren't really meant to just be used on their own because they don't really clean your body. But, I mean, hey, it smells really good, so I like it, and that's all that matters. Um, then I finished this TheraBreath. This is the Mild Mint one. This one is my absolute favorite. I think this is probably my second bottle now. Um, this one's my absolute favorite. I also have the Cool Mint one. The Cool Mint one tastes like it has alcohol in it, so I don't like that one. Whereas this Mild Mint one, it doesn't taste like you have um, that alcohol burning sensation in your mouth, but the Cool Mint one does. Even though it says it doesn't have alcohol in the Cool Mint one, it still tastes like it. I don't know what it is, but this one is my favorite so far. I've only had the Mild Mint one and the, I think the Cool Mint one. I think that's what it is. Whichever one the like blue bottle is, I'm using that one currently. I prefer this one so much more because it just, honestly, it tastes like kind of like you're putting in peppermint water in your mouth, but it's mouthwash. And I personally like that because the like water, peppermint, the peppermint water taste or whatever when you put it in your mouth, it doesn't have, like I said, like that alcohol burning sensation, whereas the cool mint one does. So I don't really like that. I don't like, that honestly makes me not like to use mouthwash because i don't like my cheeks feeling all like tight and everything i don't know if like you guys know that that feeling but whenever i use any mouthwashes and they have like that alcohol in it it just makes my lower jawline and my cheeks just kind of like like that literally that's what it feels like and i don't like that sensation but with this one it literally just tastes like water with like a hint of like mint to it so i really like this one a lot and if you're someone who deals with the same issue and you don't like that like really pepperminty type of feel or like that feeling where it's just like in your mouth then i highly recommend this one this one does retail for about seven to eight dollars though then right now currently for me it is that time of the month so i've been like flying through pads this is the honeypot company overnight herbal infused pads with wings I really love the Honeypot brand in terms of pads. I've never had their tampons. Before the pads, I love that like cooling sensation that it gives me down there. When you ever like use it for the first time, it's kind of shocking. But over time, like you'll grow to love it. I know I did. Um, I highly recommend getting these at Marshalls. I will never stop saying that because I feel like you guys shouldn't be spending more money if you don't have to. Especially when they have them at Marshalls. They also have the body, not the body washes, but the um feminine washes also at marshall's and they have the wipes at marshall's every now and then if i get lucky i can find them but i highly recommend the overnight pads they are amazing and they're super thick and big and like really long like it literally stretches literally sorry it's a little tmi but i want you guys to know it literally stretches from like the top of my downstairs area literally to the end of my butt crack like that is how long 
these are and so it's really great for like overnighting um and it holds a lot of product these have um a four out of four like hold and you get 12 of them for um i got mine for 450 on sale Ooh, it has like the little red sticker but i think in marshall's they're like five dollars and i think if you get them at like um target or walmart they're like eight to ten dollars i want to say then i finished this other one this is the the honeypot company super herbal infused pads the other ones were the overnight ones these are the super ones these hold three out of four personally when it comes to overnight i like to use pads that hold more just because i never really know if i'm gonna bleed more in my sleep or not for me it's kind of on and off sometimes i don't really bleed in my sleep sometimes i do but I like to be careful, so I definitely prefer when it's nighttime to use the overnight ones. But if it's like through the day, especially towards the um, beginning of my cycle, my cycle is more heavier. So I like to go in with the super ones and I just use the overnight ones forever at nighttime because this one is a 3 out of 4 hold. But there is literally no difference other than the hold in terms of these and the fact that one is named overnight and one is named super. These I also got at Marshalls, but it doesn't have... Oh, so the regular price of these are $5.99 at Marshalls, and they retail for $8. So go ahead and go to Marshalls, save you some money if you want to try these out. I really like the Honeypot companies. They're really the only pads that I use on my period, and I'm also trying out some Always Forever ones currently, but I still prefer the Honeypot ones every single day. Then I finished um, Dahlia. I was going to say Delilah, but Dahlia this body wash smells super good it kind of had like a woodsy type of scent which i enjoy um i don't remember this lingering on my skin as much but i do remember it did actually like smell really good in the shower um so i'd have to get this one i don't know what that was but that was scary i have to get this one like an eight out of ten it smells really good i really love that like woodsy type of scent to it and it's kind of like floral like the fragrance notes of this one are Velvet Dahlia Petals, I was going to say Delilah, Crisp Pear, Parlene Musk, and Whipped Tonka Bean. I can also smell that like Whipped Tonka Bean in it and that might be um, kind of where I'm getting the woodsiness from. Um, and the Parlene, I think, Parlene Musk, I don't know how you say that. I feel like those two are the main notes in this that I just really love. And then when I say like the woodsy scent mixed with the floral, the floral would of course be the... Um, the velvet dahlia petals and the crisp pear i can't really smell the crisp pear but hey i really love the like um the flower scents and then the like woody scents that aren't actually woody but i keep referring to them as woody the musk and the um the tonka bean those are my favorite scents in this one and i feel like that's what really makes it eight out of ten for me um you guys know already if you don't these body washes in particular are my favorite just because they're super moisturizing they last a really long time in the shower i like to use a lot of this product just because i just love the formula so much and it's not even necessary but i am like a bath and body works moisturizing body wash addict at this point i used to really love the shower gels but now i feel like i'm kind of like transitioning more towards these so when the sas sale comes i'm going to be buying more of these this year but i highly recommend you guys try the dahlia one if you're someone who likes those like woody type of scents that once again it's not really woody i don't know why i keep saying that and the like floral scents highly recommend this one or if you're just someone who's looking for a moisturizing body wash get any from bath and body Works, whatever scent you prefer but then get the moisturizing body wash because it really will help you moisturize your skin then i finished gingham this is a foaming sugar body scrub this stuff is super super good i loved it i love the texture of this one i really like the scent i'm definitely gonna re-up and get a body wash for the first time they did just release some new gingham scents i think like gingham fresh and gingham gorgeous or something like that i don't really know haven't tried those out yet i know they just recently had a sale um of all their gingham products because they're brand new and i think they were like on sale for like 550 maybe five dollars and something but this one is the original and i really like this scent a lot um i was kind of scared to try it out just because it kind of looks kind of old ladyish to me not gonna lie like the packaging kind of gives me like old lady vibes but it smells super good i really like it the fragrance notes of this one are blue i forget how you say this for shisha i think that's how you say it white peach fresh clementine violet and clean musk and let me 
yeah this one just smells so clean i don't know what it is but there's just something in it it just smells so clean and kind of fruity to me and i really like this product if you're someone who's looking for something that smells super clean maybe you're going for like that clean girl aesthetic girls love to say and you just want to smell like super fresh like laundry almost um i highly recommend getting them to you then i just recently finished this fresh coconut and cotton this one i've been using for a minute because i've been alternating um body washes because of shower routines so i haven't been like consistently using the same um body wash like i normally do but i finally finished so you guys will not see this anymore i know i've had this in like three different shower routines but this is the fresh coconut and cotton by bath and body works this fragrance notes are coconut coastal breeze beachside cotton i really like this stuff it's a really fresh coconutty scent and i've said this before but I'm not a big fan of coconut type of scents, they just aren't my favorite. Um, but this one and the Tree Hut Coconut Colada are the only two so far that I've actually been able to enjoy. And I feel like the main reason I really like this one is because it's on the lighter side because it has like that cotton in it. The cotton kind of, um, I feel like minimizes the coconut scent to where the coconut scent just isn't too overpowering for me. So if you're someone who's in like the same boat and you want to try coconut scents but you know you're like me and you don't really love coconut scents that much but you still want to use one and find maybe a staple type of scent highly recommend this one i give this one a honestly probably like a 9 out of 10 for sure i don't know if i rated the gingham but i give the gingham a 10 out of 10 just because it smells so clean and fruity i really like this stuff then I finished these Rayel heating patches for menstrual cramps with extra coverage. I got these from Marshalls on sale for $5.50. These are somewhat really good. Um, they only last about an hour or two maybe. Um, but if you're someone, maybe you have like a really short trip and you want to take your heating pad with you but you can't. I highly recommend getting these. I feel like if you were to try to use it the entire day, you'd literally have to use the entire five count in here but they're very similar to um whatever they're called those like heating things that you put in your gloves sorry about my phone you guys but those like those like heating patches that you put in your gloves and things when it's like cold outside oh my gosh i cannot with you okay anyways like I was saying, they're like those heating patches that you put in your gloves, only you put them in your underwear. They do work. They just don't last a long time, which I'm kind of really disappointed about. But they do work, um, and they're really easy to use. I just feel like you'd have to buy so many. It says it lasts up to eight hours. It does not. It literally lasts me like an hour, two hours max. I have to give these a six out of ten just because they do work, and I think that they're amazing and they're great, but... In my experience, they only last an hour to two hours, and that's not really cutting it, especially when you only get five in a box. I'm going to have to use the entire box in one day, and it's $5.50, and that's a lot of money, and that's a lot of um, heating patches to buy if you want it to last your entire cycle. But if you're someone, like I said, and you only need to go somewhere really fast, but you want like to experience the heating pad on the go, then I highly recommend these to you. Then I finished these Eucalyptics. Um, shower steamers i cannot smell these at all something about shower steamers i want to love them but they do not smell maybe i'm maybe i'm blindsided by all the other products that i use um but every shower steamer i've ever used i really haven't been able to smell it too much like i really want to but like i was saying it could be because like i'm getting overpowered with too many scents in the shower from using a pre-cleanser to using a body scrub to using a body wash i'm using a lot of different scents and maybe that's why i couldn't smell it but for me i'd have to give these like a three out of ten i love the packaging i love the fact that i can literally keep this wash it out put a plant in it if i really wanted to um so i think that for 6.99 that's worth it because normally at marshall's you guys probably know you can literally buy just this in container itself for 6.99 and you won't really get anything um with it but with this you get the container you can keep forever and you get a total of 12 shower steamers i love the fact that you get 12 because typically when i go to marshall's now you can only get like six and it's for the same price and you can't really reuse the containers but like i was saying these just really didn't speak out to me i really couldn't smell them that much so with that being said um 
probably give them like a 3 out of 10. Then I got these from Marshalls. These are Body Prescriptions Lavender Vanilla Exfoliating Sugar Cubes. I really like this one as well because once again you can keep this container. I love it when Marshalls does that. Or any like hygiene brands whenever they have it to where you can like reuse their packaging. I love that. You can literally refill this, wash it out and put like some... Uh, maybe brown sugar or your sugar in it or your coffee whatever you want to put in it a plant really it's up to you and I love that all you have to do is pull off the stickers but these were $6.99 they retail for $10 I really love sugar cubes um, so I give these a 10 out of 10 I love the scent the scent actually lingered on my skin with these so I 10 out of 10 recommend these if you ever see them I went to Marshalls a couple times and I've only seen these one time but hopefully they'll come back that's kind of how Marshalls is you see it one day and then the next couple of times you don't see it and then one day at random it comes back then I finished my Panoxyl this is probably my fourth one at this point you guys this is literally a staple in my routine I did start using it every other um not every other morning but I used to use it twice a day and now I only use it once a day and my skin because like this product is just so good it's not even having any like breakouts for and I'm on a period I'm breaking out a little bit right here but this stuff is super super good it is super drying though so definitely keep that in mind but if you're someone who faces acne and you really want to get rid of it really fast and if your skin can handle like really strong prescriptions I highly recommend the Panoxyl this is the 10% they do have a smaller percentage one but my face can handle it and I'm one who likes to get rid of my acne because I've dealt with acne literally as long as I can remember I literally do not remember a time before middle school where I didn't have acne like I think in elementary school I had acne I just don't even remember a time when I didn't have acne pretty much and this stuff has helped me so much so like I said this is like my fourth one this is kind of expensive in my opinion it's ten dollars you don't get too much product but hey it works so i'm not really complaining i highly recommend this to you guys and then last but not least this one's really sad i love the l brand foam wash period care wash and i use it specifically on my period and like i was just saying you guys like for me it's that time of the month but for some reason it doesn't even foam anymore oh my gosh hold on. if it foams right now i'm gonna be so mad yeah it doesn't foam anymore there's still product there's still product in here it's just it doesn't foam anymore my lid is actually broken like every single time I have to literally pull this up every time I use it every time I squirt it down it stays down and I have to lift it back up and that happened really early on when I bought the product so I don't really like that about the bottle um, and on top of that like I said it doesn't foam anymore and I don't know why I haven't opened this container at all anymore for it to even get water in it but yeah, there's like so much product left in here and I'm kind of really sad about it because I can't use it anymore. But we're going to consider this a hygiene empty because being that I can't really use this anymore because it doesn't foam. I don't really know if I just open it and use the product in here for my downstairs area is safe. I mean, I'm pretty sure it is. All it does is foam. But um, I don't know. I feel like actually now that I'm looking at it, I think there's actually like not that much product in here. It's just kind of turned into like foam on the inside. So that's why when I try to pump it out, it's just water if that makes sense. Like there's no more actual product or whatever's in here to make it foam. It's just foam left in here from when I shook it, if that makes sense. I don't really know. But anyways, yeah, I'm really sad about this, but I give this one a 10 out of 10. If it is your period and you're looking for a specific wash for your period, that is what I love about this. I love brands that make specific products for specific things that you're targeting. And for me, when it's my period, I want a specific wash for my period because I want something that's really going to make sure to rid me of all that smell and really clean me out on my period. Because I feel like, of course, it's more than I feel like. It's just the truth of the matter. When you're on your period versus when you're not your downstairs area is different like it's the same downstairs area but of course like you're bleeding you might be facing more odor and things like that so that's why I want a wash that specifically dedicated to my period because I feel like that just helps me a lot more than when I use the regular washes but I hope you guys enjoyed my little empties haul and if you did of course please be sure to hit that subscribe button we are almost at 2k you guys thank you so much for all you guys who have followed and subscribed and left comments and liked my videos just show any amount of support thank you so much but I will see you guys in my next video.